Kia ora tato. welcome to this final part of chemical reactivity where we will look at uh, pH calculations or um, can be pOH calculations as well. Uh, I'll just start by going over all of the um, equations that we need to know for these types of questions that might come up. So the first type of question uh, we might need to work out would be to do, well, just going to categorize them into hydronium ion uh, calculations, hydroxide ion calculations, and converting H3O plus ion calculations into um, OH minus calculations. So the first equation that we'd need to know is that pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of H3O plus. So if we know the concentration of hydronium ions, we find negative log on our calculator, do that to that concentration, and then we'll get the pH. So the pH has um, been created because the concentration of hydronium ions will often be a really, really small number. So it might be like 3.5, just making this up, times 10 to the power of negative 9. So that's a really small number, and it would be much more convenient if we could put that as just a, um, a whole number between 0 and 14. So that's what the pH um, scale is there for, and it does that using negative log. If you want to go from pH and find out the concentration of hydronium ions, then we would take the negative log of the pH. So concentration of hydronium ions, h 0 plus equals uh, negative log, no, sorry, <laughs> um, 10, base 10 to the negative pH is what we would do there. Um, so there's a good uh, PowerPoint that is on no brain too small that you can look at that shows you which um, buttons you should be pushing uh, to get these correct calculations. But basically, if you push shift log, then that will shift log will give you um, to the base 10, and then you go negative whatever the pH is. So the calculations that we can use to go between um, hydronium and hydroxide ions are we can use 14 is equal to the pH plus. P-O-H. Um, and so P-O-H is the same as pH, except that it's um, describing the concentration of hydroxide ions in a solution. So a low number, a low value of P-O-H will indicate that a solution is really basic, uh, as opposed to the pH scale, where a high number above 7 indicates that the solution is basic. So pH is just the opposite of, of P-O-H is the opposite of pH. And the other calculation that we can use to go between these is K-W is equal to the concentration of the product of the hydronium ions and the hydroxide ions. <clears throat> and Kw at 25 degrees Celsius is a constant, and that is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14. So this is given to you in your resource booklet, uh, so you don't need to memorize that. Um, and so if we know the hydroxide ions, then we can convert it into, um, sorry, if we know the hydronium ions, we can convert it into hydroxide ions by using this um, formula. So, and then hydroxide ions, I'm just going to use the same formulas that I've done over here, but just um, do them in terms of hydroxide. So pOH is equal to negative log, and then the concentration of OH minus the hydroxide ions. And then we can also go back from pOH to hydroxide uh, by doing base 10 to the negative pOH. So 10 to the negative pOH. So using these formulas, we can do some calculations that will be given to you in the exam. Let's go over a couple of examples. So this is from the 2019 exam. So the first question, well, a solution of hydrochloric acid has a hydronium ion concentration of 0 0.0164. Calculate the pH and hydroxide ion concentration of the solution. So for the pH, the um, formula that we use is negative log H3O plus is equal to the pH. So we just put that into our calculator, um, negative log 0 0.0164. And that would give us an answer of 1.79. For the next one, the hydroxide ions, we would we can use this again, and this is where we'd go Kw equals the product of the hydronium ions and the hydroxide ions. 
So we need to rearrange this equation for it to equal OH minus. So we divide both sides by H3O plus, um, or the concentration of H3O plus. And so that's going to give us the hydroxide ion concentration is equal to, because we cancel those out, it's equal to Kw divided by the concentration of H3O plus. So Kw is always 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14, um, and that will be divided by the hydroxide ion concentration, which is 0 0.0164. And so our, um, the result is that we're going to get 6.10 times 10 to the power of negative 13. Negative 13, and because it's a concentration, we're talking about moles per litre. pH doesn't have units, but concentration does, mole per litre. Okay, let's go on to another question, maybe a little bit harder. Um, so calculate the hydroxide ion concentration of a solution of potassium hydroxide with a pH of 9.4. So with this one, there's two ways that we can do it. Um, we can either use, um, sorry, we can either use, go like this. Uh, so pH, to convert this into, we would convert it into pOH first. Um, so the pOH equals 14 minus pH. And so that will give us 14 minus 9.4 is 4.6. And then from there, what we can do is go um, the concentration of hydroxide ions equals negative log. Uh, sorry, why do I always do this? 10 to the negative 4.6. And so the result that we would get there is 2.51 times 10 to the power of negative 5 mole per litre. So the way that I got this pH equals 14 minus P, pOH equals 14 minus pH is just using the formula 14 equals pH minus, or plus pOH. So we just rearrange it, we minus, minus pH from both sides, minus pH, and then we end up with pOH equals 14 minus pH. So that's one way to work it out. The other way would be that we need to first of all calculate the concentration of hydroxide ions. So we'd go hydroxide ions is equal to 10 to the power of negative 9.4. And that equals 3.98 times 10 to the power of negative 10. And from there, we can then use the same equation that we used last time with the Kw um, equals the product of H3O plus and OH minus. So we rearrange that to OH minus equals KW divided by H3O plus, which is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14 divided by this value here, 3.98 times 10 to the power of negative 10. And so that will equal 2.51 times 10 to negative 5. The same is what we've got over there. So you can choose either option. Um, this is the one that you'll see in the marking schedule. Uh, this is another way that is potentially easier. Um, I think as long as you get to the same answer, you'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, that's the um, acids and bases calculation questions. Now we have finished the topic. Well done, everyone. Um, Enjoy a break, if you've done really well. Cheers.